We're talking about the kinds of clinics that cover elective surgeries, ear and eye care, women's and reproductive care, some of which, as we've reported, have already started furloughing and laying off workers across the state. And now some of them have formed a coalition saying if something doesn't change fast, they won't be around to care for Oregonians post-pandemic. Independent medical groups do not have deep pockets and deep reserves. The CEO of the Oregon Clinic says they're in just as much trouble as any other small or medium-sized business. A loss of patients means a loss of profit, and costs are still adding up. Things like rent, utilities, and insurance. Some of our groups within this coalition have, in the current state, a 30 to 90 days of, um, uh, of reserves. That coalition, made up of seven clinics and healthcare groups across Oregon and southwest Washington, is pressing state and federal authorities for help. Help that's necessary, they say, to keep Oregonians healthy and paid. In a press release, they write they treat 655,000 people across Oregon each year, and they employ more than 3,000 people. That is pre-pandemic. The Oregon Clinic, as we reported, furloughed 800-plus employees last month. On the coast, the North Bend Medical Center has laid off about a quarter of its 400 employees. They're hopeful they can hang on to the rest. The worst possible thing that can happen in a rural area is for these highly trained professionals to leave. To lose that is is really disheartening. So, the demands. From Oregon Governor Brown, they want, among other things, a plan to allow elective and non-emergency procedures to resume safely, and an executive order forcing insurers to cover telemedicine visits like they do in-person ones. On the federal side, stimulus money has already been funneled into the healthcare industry, but the language left independent clinics unsure if they're eligible. So they want a new stimulus program with $150 billion dedicated to clinics and offices like theirs nationwide, plus grant funding for specialized services such as OBGYN and reproductive care. We reached out to Oregon Governor Brown as well as several of Oregon's congressional leaders about this. Senator Ron Wyden's team wrote back minutes later saying they are pressing the Trump administration for more funding for the healthcare industry. I'm Maggie Vesma reporting, KGW News.